Welcome Patriots. Today I'm going to be sort of a uh, continuation of our last video uh, about what I carry. Uh, so uh, last video I talked about what I carry on me such as uh, my everyday carry defensive firearm, uh, non-lethal options such as uh, the pepper sprays and things like that uh, as well as my other daily tools like a pen, a pocket knife to open boxes, a little flashlight to find things that uh, fell under my car and things like that. Uh, another great idea and it comes so much handy is a multi-tool, just multi-tool with a bunch of other tools. That's why they're named multi-tools, you know, uh, other tools like files, uh, little screwdrivers, another knife in there, saw, uh, and so on. So this comes so often uh, in handy. So I highly recommend getting, you know, it doesn't have to be super expensive one, just have one. Uh, uh, you know, if you can get a good quality one, definitely uh, it's worth your money to invest into one of these. But you know, you can pick up one for like 15 bucks or something like that at Walmart, maybe even cheaper uh, when they're on sale. Uh, having a cheaper one is better than not having one at all. Obviously having a real good one uh, it, it would even be better. But, you know, having a cheaper one is better than not having one, period, right? So, with that said, um, let's get to it. Guys, today's video was made possible by United States Concealed Carry Association. Uh, USCCA not only provides tons and tons of uh, really valuable training materials uh, for its members, uh, they also provide a legal defense, legal protection for their members. Uh, pretty much in my wallet, uh, very first thing is the USCCA membership card. I have the peace of mind if I'm ever in a uh, situation where I have to defend myself, where I have to defend my family. Uh, once I've successfully done that, thanks to all the training, rest is covered by uh, our friends at USCCA. Uh, as long as uh, you can defend yourself, USCCA is there to defend you. So there's a lot to go over today, so let's get right to it. So, uh, I just took everything out of the bag and uh, we're going to start from this side. So, I have two separate um, medical kits, first aid kit, right? Uh, this is actually more of a first aid kit, which is more for convenience, uh, for ba like band-aids, little cuts, uh, bee stings, little itches, things like that. That's what... Uh, we're gonna go with. Of course, this still has bandages and things like that in here uh, that can help us with uh, the non-convenient stuff, more of a life-threatening situation as well. This one is more of an emergency uh, kit, um, more of a life-threatening type of situation. It's got gloves, it's got, you know, uh, disinfectant wipes. I'm not gonna take them all out, but it's got a, a cat tourniquet. Uh, got a smaller version of uh, the Israeli bandages of course it has to have a sharpie or some sort of a writing device in there that you could write on fabric with no problem so that you could mark um, what time you put on the tourniquet and so on and, and obviously uh, these will have thousand and one different uses as well uh, I went ahead and put a small very small um, pocket knife on my medical kit as well as a miniature uh, flashlight on a little uh, carabiner here uh, which makes it a lot more convenient it's not super bright um, but you know in a pinch it'll do the job especially if you're trying to get to like a wound uh, uh, in a shade and things like that it'll definitely come in handy uh, I also have 
the splint uh, that I could fold and use, flexible splint. Uh, I could cut with uh, scissors or knives uh, and use it as a splint if there's any fracture or anything like that. Here is a SWAT T tourniquet. You could use this as a tourniquet or to hold bandages in place as well. Uh, it's rubberized, very low tech, but it's very effective. So I highly recommend one of these. Uh, I think, I believe I mentioned it in my previous video about a couple of uh, uh, backup batteries, the external batteries for pretty much anything and everything that I can uh, carry when I'm mobile. Uh, make sure that you don't forget all the cables that go with the uh, uh, batteries as well as your electronic devices as well this one is invaluable it's a very another thing that's not very expensive it's got a little hand crank uh, there are so many brands out there uh, i'm not particularly uh, uh, loyal to one brand or another as long as it has a radio hand crank for the power uh, flashlight I mean, a uh, little solar thing going here. You can even charge other devices by plugging them into its own internal battery that you could charge by solar as well as the hand crank. Uh, I'm not going in any particular order, so forgive me if this kind of seems a little um, all over the place. So I got a little telescope that uh, I most of the time I use it at the range to look at the target. Uh, but this could also come in handy in a uh, emergency situation if you want to uh, identify something that is far away, uh, whether it's a person, car, building, you know, and whatnot. Since I carry it anyway for uh, my range days, uh, this also goes into my everyday carry bag. Um, this one also is a must to, uh, you know, cut down you know different things such as uh, tree small tree branches and things like that uh, shave arcs off of uh, uh, of that branch to start making kindle kindling for for to start a fire you know all kinds of different things uh, if need be in a pinch this could cut down a tree it'll take forever but it can so it's something sturdy strong uh, I recommend on this I recommend uh, not being too frugal on it uh, you do want to invest uh, some money on these. Um, let's see. Let's finish up this side here. So I have a couple different types of, I know I mentioned that in my EDC video last time, but uh, bandana is in here as well as one of these, right? Which will serve as uh, well as these in a uh, uh, mask type of situation, but this is much larger, so you could wrap it around your head and things like that to block out the sun if it's a, a, a hot day. Uh, if it's cold, at least it's giving you uh, another extra layer to shield you from the environment. Um, I always have an extra layer of clothing in here. This is a uh, just a zip-up hoodie, uh, just a simple zip-up hoodie that I, uh, I think I bought it from Old Navy uh, years ago. Uh, still serving me very well. Just a simple zip-up hoodie uh, to, again, shield me from uh, the environment, providing that extra layer. A um, couple of uh, large garbage bags are really, really good idea. Um, they have literally a thousand different uses. Um, you know, you could make a poncho out of it if it's uh, super inclement weather, like rainy and whatnot. Uh, you could uh, cre fill it with air, seal it, create some insulation. Um, you could open it up, cut them and open it up and, 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 and tape them up to like windows and things like that to shield uh, you from uh, the environment. Like let's say your car window is broken, you're kind of trapped in the car. Uh, you have you have to use your car as a, a shelter for the night uh, on, a, on, a, on a blizzard or something like that this will save your life you can uh, uh, tape these up uh, on that broken uh, windshield and block out that, that snow and wind and uh, try to trap uh, as much warmth inside the car as possible so this really volume wise it's nothing weight wise it weighs nothing 
So there's no reason why you uh, shouldn't carry a couple uh, of these with you at all times. Um, gum. <laughs> so that uh, is a good idea. <laughs> if, um, multiple ways to start fire. I, I, I always have uh, at least two uh, lighters um, and I have a fire waterproof uh, here that I store uh, my fire starting tools in. So I got a little ferrous rod here that I could, uh, you know, start sparks with. Uh, I got a little a magnesium uh, shavings that could assist me. Uh, magnesium shavings that could assist me uh, with uh, starting fire, shavings of uh, fat wood, right? It's impregnated with uh, oil, little wood shavings that could also uh, assist me with uh, starting fire. And then I have a few, uh, few fat wood sticks. One last thing that's in the waterproof bag is my duct tape. So instead of carrying around something like this, I do not carry this around every day. Uh, this is what I carry every day. This is actually 20 feet of duct tape that I have wrapped around an old uh, membership card that I don't use anymore. Uh, and it came very much in handy. I've made sure that I've overlapped the end so I could easily start peeling it off. And uh, it's this little thing. That's 20 feet of duct tape, which could come in handy in, in so many different uh, ways. So that's what I have in my uh, waterproof case here. I always carry around a little notepad uh, with a pen uh, that I could jot things down, stuff that I need to remember, you know, maybe a direction to a safe, safer location, uh, a, a license plate number of someone, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, another little waterproof case. They call this like a beach safe or something like that. Um, what I have in here is both sides, I've covered it, right, with my, our business card here. But inside, I have more business cards wrapped around with cash. So when you're uh, uh, having some cash as your emergency uh, a few bucks for the emergency you want to make sure that you have multiple uh, denominations uh, singles fives tens and twenties instead of just having you know one like a c note um, it is going to be much more convenient to spend because when you're in a pinch and you want to give somebody money you don't want to give somebody money the entire hundred dollars if they don't have uh, change to give back to you so make sure that you have multiple uh, denominations uh, in your emergency cash. This one also takes up virtually no room and it's got a few different uses. Uh, it's got a can opener. It's got a little measuring uh, uh, tool right here. It's got a cutting tool over here, uh, saw, uh, uh, little, little uh, wrenches, uh, and so on. So this one, um, can also come in handy. I do have all other tools that does the same thing, but this is so thin and so small and it weighs almost nothing. Um, so I just like to have one extra means to take care of business uh, in my uh, everyday carry bag. Couple of Mylar blankets. Uh, they call them space blankets and things like that. I did mention it in my uh, everyday carry, what what I carry video. Uh, I do have two or three at all times in my everyday carry bag as well. A uh, couple of work gloves. These are tactical gloves, but they work fine uh, as, as work gloves as well. It's got some hard shell protection uh, on your knuckles and things like that. Uh, reinforced uh, surfaces on your fingertips here as well as your palm so it's all around multi-purpose it's not it looks tactical but it I, I this purpose of these gloves are uh, uh, work gloves uh, to protect your hands when you have to uh, change you know get your car to the ditch or help somebody else and whatnot so and I, I always have two because you know, if a situation calls for it, I might need somebody's help. 
uh, in whatever I'm trying to do there. All right. Like I said in my other video, I do carry a box of nine because nine millimeter is what I carry every day. I also always carry a parostatical gun oil uh, with it as well. Uh, I may not have the time or the means to clean my gun uh, uh, in an emergency, but I maintain them on a regular basis. So hopefully it'll, it won't be dry, but if it somehow does get dry or get dusty, if I drop it in the sand or whatever, uh, I don't want to run my gun dry. So I'm going to ha always have a uh, little backup small bottle of gun oil in my everyday carry bag. Um, as I showed you, this is my trusted uh, <laughs> screwdriver with the Phillips as well as uh, the flat head. Uh, this has gotten me out of a pen so many times I can't even count. Um, here's a little cheapo, you know, Walgreens type uh, flashlight. Uh, it's not strong, uh, but uh, you know, when in the dark, it does the job. I do have another flashlight option um, right here. This is made by Saber Red security equipment uh and it's uh, uh it's got that uh, strobe light thing happening as well as uh the regular very strong uh blinding light uh but the best of all this one is kind of uh misleading because it just looks like a flashlight but it also is a stun gun uh in a pinch and if i need to use a non-lethal force uh, which is what I prefer um, than compared to a lethal force. Uh, this is something that I could use to make sure that uh, the end result isn't where uh, a, a human life has ended. Uh, I do have a few other uh, illuminating methods. Um, so I have a little bit higher end uh, snap light as well as uh, cheaper you know, uh, fishing type of light. This is a little bit weaker, not as bright, uh, but they will last 12 hours. And uh, uh, in a emergency roadside situation, you know, having few of these just thrown around your car to make sure that no other car is uh, uh, gonna run into you in the dark, so on and so forth, these uh, will come very much in handy. So this is one type that I have. This is much brighter. It doesn't last as long right uh, this one is not as bright but they last a little bit longer so that's what they are uh, in case I'm kind of stranded or whatever or even when I'm not in an emergency situation but you know just running from uh, an appointment to appointment and I get a little hungry instead of walk going into a uh, you know donut shop to get a donut you know I'll take a uh, little grain bar canola bar you know this is not necessarily an emergency type of food but you know it, it, it's a comfort type of uh, thing so i do carry that i do carry a few bottles of water at least two uh and in addition another water bottle right uh this one is more of a survival thing than an everyday carry thing uh, I do have it in there since I have room in the bag. Uh, this is, I'm not going to, you know, open up the whole thing or anything like that, but they fold down and becomes a makeshift stove. So using these solid fuels uh, uh, to at least able to uh, boil water or, or uh, disinfect your knife uh, in a first aid type of situation, it, it's another uh, um, fuel. Fire. A couple more things these days since the quarantine, I do carry a bottle or two of uh, hand sanitizer uh, with me at all times as long as well as few uh, 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 disposable masks. So I do carry those. Toilet paper. I took out the pour and collapsed it. So you can see it. Yeah, so I took out the core. There's no brown, you know, cardboard core anymore. So take that out, collapse it like that. It's very space uh, efficient way to have a toilet paper. I just used nothing special. I just used the uh, 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 wrap that 
the toilet paper came in and I usually put this in a small, like a sandwich size uh, Ziploc bag to keep it dry. Another uh, more of a survival uh, item uh, than an everyday carry item. So this is an emergency food rations. Uh, this whole thing is uh, uh, actually 3,600 calories. So this is a three days worth of uh, calories. Uh, as long as you're not overexerting yourself, this will get get you by. Um, you, may, you may not get full. I mean, that's why I have granola bars, right? Uh, but this will keep you alive. Uh, three days. But always keep in mind, you can survive without food for, for two, three, four weeks. You can't survive without water for more than three days. So always pay more attention to uh, uh, your water supply. Uh, but even more importantly, you can't last more than three hours, right? Rule of three, you can't last more than three hours uh, without shelter, meaning uh, a protection from the environment. Um, and, and, and that's why, you know, having, you know, these uh, thermal space blankets or extra layer of clothing, uh, possibly even a wool blanket. Uh, I, do, I, I do have a couple of wool blankets that I carry in my car all the time. Um, I don't care if they get a little dirty. They, they are not for me to sleep in. They are for, for me to keep myself warm with. So something like that is highly, highly recommended. And of course, I can't go anywhere with my, without my uh, <laughs> coffee. So my, uh, my, my trusted uh, uh, thermal, thermal mug uh, that uh, I, I drink my coffee out of every day. Uh, other than that, uh, it's really what you make it to be. Um, I'm, this is not uh, a manual. Uh, nobody has a perfect manual for everyday carry. So remember, everyone's carry bag will be different depending on the area you live in. If you live in Florida, uh, it may not be so necessary for you to have so many extra layers, clothing, wool blankets, and all that stuff. Um, it becomes more important if you're living up north, Midwest, or Canada, you know, uh, uh, Minnesota, and things like that. So, and depending on the season, uh, in summertime, you might wanna carry uh, more bags, uh, more bottles of water. Uh, in the wintertime, you want uh, uh, maybe I take out one of the bottles, put in another layer of uh, hoodie or another pair of uh, wool socks or something like that. Um, so, and this literally is my everyday carry. I carry my uh, laptop with me all the time uh, that uh, I use for work. Um, so, uh, and as you can tell, unlike my uh, last video, this is my gray man look. Um, I had my shirt tucked in to show you guys, but this is how I walk around every day. So, gray man. I highly recommend being a gray man. Do not be noticeable. Uh, don't stand out. Uh, don't attract attention, especially this day and age. Again, as always, thank you guys for joining me uh, and watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, click like and share this video with others uh, that so that uh, they can get some ideas uh, for their everyday carry to keep them safe and also provide convenience as well. Um, don't forget to uh, practice situational awareness to stay safe. And until next time, this was Daniel from Powerhouse Tactical.